Hey everyone, this is Mike with Jetamin, and in this video we'll learn a slightly more advanced use case. We'll bind a form to a table. So let's get started, okay? So before we start, I've placed my form here in front of the table, but I haven't generated uh, this form, and it's an important step, and we'll discuss why it's so important to generate a form before you can work with it uh, in a separate dedicated video uh, dedicated to the form uh, component. But right now we'll just leave it as it is, run operation, choose our resource. Form uh, on a data level, it works with records. So we'll need to fetch our collection and we'll need to pinpoint an individual record or a row. So we'll work with the same collection here as, as it's uh, displayed in the table, design projects. So we'll go to Airtable and we choose design projects. And here we have an additional step of defining what we want this form to do. So uh, once again, I'll just choose update for the sake of this example. And we can either bind this form here to this table right away, or we can generate uh, and then do the binding. I'll uh, go with just generating it right away. So we'll click generate. We'll pretty much populate all the fields. As I've uh, shown in, the, in one of the previous videos, when you don't specify the unique identifier or the primary key, Jetamin doesn't know which record you want to show from the list of uh, all design projects. So it just goes with the first one. Uh, if you want to dynamically show some records in the form, you will have to specify the primary key or the unique identifier. So we'll go here into the settings and here you can now, we've already got our data fetched from, from a resource here. So we'll not do anything with it. We can work with the uh, actions and there are lots of lots of different things that you can do here. But for now, for this particular case, we'll go into the filtering. So we go to a filter and we can now access the same magic button, click bind to component, find our design projects and it will automatically identify that pretty much our primary key, our unique identifier is ID, and that's exactly the case. So that should work correctly. And when I click, it shows the pretty much this record that I've selected here in this form. So now I can go ahead and change certain fields and then execute uh, the action here. Now, if I want to be more advanced and, or for example, for some reason, Jetem didn't pick the right unique identifier or you want to use a different unique identifier, you can go ahead and use uh, the custom binding model. I'll uh, delete this form and I'll create a new one. Go through the same process here, design and process update and then update. Okay, looks fine, generate. All right, and now we once again go into the filtering and here instead of bind to component, we can apply filters dynamically. And we go here and add a new filter and in my case, I can now choose the field by which I want to filter this form. So essentially I'm choosing what my unique identifier is for those records in, in the collection that I've fetched into this form. In my case is going to be ID, ID equals, once again, I, choose, I can choose different uh, logical operators here. It's going to be ID equals, and then we go to the same, uh, to same binding model. We click here on this little uh, F sign, and we, once again, can see this model. We can access all the uh, dynamic values. We go here to other components, and we find our table here. We click into it. Click the selected row. Once again, we need to pinpoint the record and we need to choose. So here, remember we picked up the ID or unique identifier from this form here. This is, this is what it means, ID equals. And now we need to bind it to the column that contains the same value here in our table. So in my case, it's going to be primary key ID that's already highlighted as primary key. So I can click it, click it, and that's going to be it. Uh, let's test it. Yep, works great. Awesome. Thank you very much for watching and have a great one. Bye.